Hello, welcome to Drive Institute. My name is Ambrose Motian. I'll be showing you on how to make a compost pile. And when we talk of compost pile, here in Drive we are focusing on building the soil. We have to put back what we have taken from the garden for us to continue growing. And by doing so, building such a, a compost pile, you'll be cutting the cost of production because you'll not be going to the market to buy synthetic chemicals and fertilizers. And also you'll be able to utilize the locally available materials that are in your compound or from your garden. So uh, by the end of the day, uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to make such a compost pile as I take you through on how to go about it. Thank you. Materials needed. Green plant material, dry plant material or straw, tree branches or twigs, well rotted manure or healthy soil, also you can use wood ash, water, jembe, a tape measure, a wheelbarrow if you have one, a panga, and four pegs. Let's now look at the steps or the procedures. First step, site selection and clearance. Step two, measure five feet by five feet. Step three, drive the four pegs in the ground. Then, point four, loosen the soil. By doing so, you are encouraging activating the microorganisms and also for good aeration. Step five, start laying tree branches or twigs. These are very, very important, the big twigs or the branches because they'll assist in aeration and also when it comes to drainage. After the laying of tree branches, uh, you have to water it. Put six inches of dry plant material. And these ones, the dry ones have carbon in it, so and it helps in supporting the life of the microorganisms. So after that, uh, you have to water it. Then you add three inches of green plant material, which contain nitrogen. And nitrogen is very, very important also when it comes to the life of microorganisms. And then after that, as I said, add some water. Then add two inches of well-rotted manure or soil. This one, they have the living organisms. And by applying on top of each layer, then you find that you'll be distributing these uh, microorganisms. Then. After you have done that, repeat the same procedure until you attain the five feet high, but you'll not repeat step number five of laying tree branches or twigs. That one occurs only in the first steps. Then add wood ash on top. You have to add wood ash on top. And wood ash acts like a catalyst. And then lastly, the last thing you have to do is you have to put a stick and we say this stick acts like a thermometer so it will be helping you to monitor the temperature of the compost pile. After six weeks your compost will be ready to be applied in your gardens. 